Dave here. I'm with John Boy, superintendent of the Potter's House. John, how did God call you to be the superintendent? Well, it's an interesting story. Um, first of all, um, I had a radical encounter with God in college. And um, so I, at that time, changed my whole direction. Um, I was heading to for the big time job, the big professional job, and the thought of being a teacher had never crossed my mind. But when I uh, experienced God in that new way, everything did change for me. And uh, a couple years later, in praying, I still was about ready to graduate from Calvin College and uh, had changed my major from math to general to psych and soch and time to graduate. And um, I still didn't know what I was supposed to do. And so I, after a prayer, not that it was the first time I'd prayed about it, I went to a counselor and um, I said, you know, I don't know what I can do with a psych and soch. Maybe I can earn some money teaching in high school or something. And um, she just looked at me and she said, you don't want to be a high school teacher. You want to be an elementary school teacher. And it was so amazing to me that I had never considered it. You know, I'd worked really hard all through my academic days, and I would have never thought I would have had to work so hard to be an elementary school teacher. It wasn't a profession that had a lot of honor to it. And um, so it was a total surprise. But when she said I felt deep down that that's exactly what I wanted to be and needed to be, and um, I'd never make any money off it, and I just at that moment thought that'd be OK. And it brought me more joy than I could ever imagine. I went on to get a job at Grand Rapids Public Schools in an urban school and just loved it. At that time, it was almost impossible to get a job. But since our group felt like we wanted to stay together, our fellowship group from college, we wanted to uh, live in a neighborhood and uh, try to make an impact, try to make a difference, I just kept calling every day to try to find a job. And I finally got one at Grand Rapids Public. And I've been teaching for six years. And then we had this program in the neighborhood, 150 kids. They were way behind. And a pastor said to us, did you ever think of starting a school? And we said, no. And he said, I think it's God's timing for you to start a school. And we thought, well, we could probably do that. We'd already shared our resources with each other anyway. So we said a couple people could quit their jobs and teach for free to get this school going for maybe 30 kids from our neighborhood. And that's easier said than done. Uh, one person immediately, Mark Mazatin, said he'd quit his job. And truthfully, I had this fear. I had this, if I quit my job, if this school doesn't work, I'll never be able to teach again. I'll never be able to do what I love. I'll end up working in some, some area that I'll be unhappy. You know? And I just struggled with that, struggled with that. And um, another person in our group who had been teaching 17 years, single woman, about 37 years old, uh, 17 years in Christian schools, uh, had her own house. Um, she came to me and said one night, I don't think it's you that is supposed to quit your job. I think it's supposed to be me. And um, I felt such a huge sense of relief when she said that. And I said, well, then I guess I'll be the administrator. And uh, that's how I got my job, sort of as a lack of faith, because these two were willing to quit their jobs and lay it all on the line. And I was just praying, like, what if this doesn't work? What if this doesn't work? And so I agreed to be the volunteer administrator. So for the first eight years of Potter's House, after my uh, day at uh, Beckwith, I would do all of the fundraising, administrative type of thing. And then for the next 12 years, I would work at Potter's House in the morning. And then I'd go to Beckwith in the afternoon and then come to Potter's House later at night. And then the last um, probably 10 years, then I've been full time. And uh, so I started first as a teacher, then as a principal at Potter's House, and then became the superintendent when we began a high school and had you know two buildings. And, and needed someone to oversee the whole thing. So how did God call me? <laughs> sort of, uh, he led me in as I was kind of blindly going along, trying to, I suppose, uh, protect myself from being unemployed. But he, he led me even through that lack of, you know, of uh, bravado, I would say. Mm -hmm.